Early last year, Mitsubishi launched the new expander to continue its supremacy sa MPV market. Now, this comes in four variants. Yung GLX, which comes in manual and automatic. Yung GLS, which is this one, and the expander cross. Now, we have shared to you yung top spec variant and now we're ready para sa mid-grade trim. Want to know more? Let's find out today. Hi, this is Ford and welcome to Car Moody. Dito sa harapan ng GLS, makikita natin that it wears the updated signature dynamic shield design in between ang daytime running lamps natin. Go lower and you will see an updated T-shaped headlamps in between ng mesh type grills natin for better airflow. Go lower and makikita natin, dito sa under bumper garnish natin, makikita natin that it houses bulb type fog lamps. Meron din siyang chrome accents as seen dito sa C-shaped appointments on both sides of the bumper, yung logo natin at yung expander nameplate. For me, very futuristic yung overall look ng front fascia ng expander which would tickle the taste buds of would-be users. Now, on to the side of the expander GLS, you will see that it boasts that confidence that it is the sportiest MPV dito sa Philippine market. It has strong body lines dito sa front fender natin, pati doon sa wheel well, and another sleek body line from here all the way to the back. Dagdag mo na rin dito yung very sporty na two-toned 17-inch wheels natin. And for that additional elegance, it has chrome appointments that come in the form of the side mirrors with repeaters, the door panels, pati na rin tong window panels natin. For continuity, the Expander GLS has a side skirt that matches yung front underlip natin. Overall, this vehicle strikes balance between sportiness and elegance. Now, dito sa likod ng Expander GLS, you will see that it has the same design concept na makikita natin dun sa harapan. Naka-L-shaped tail lamps na rin siya, which is protruded dito sa side, which also acts as another safety and comfort feature for the driver, especially when backing up at night. So, since this is a people carrier, the Expander GLS also has a third brake lamp and reflectors on both sides for that additional visibility, especially during heavy downpours, during nighttime, or... Basta gloomy lang yung weather, just like today. Giving that athletic vibe is the spoiler na merong gloss black appointment, yung shark fin antenna natin at the top, pati na rin tong rear diffuser natin below that is also in gloss black. These are the appointments that would attract buyers like me. Meron din siyang chrome appointments na makikita dito sa logo at dun sa nameplate natin. It also has that rear backup camera that delivers crisp, resolution dun sa infotainment system which we'll tackle later on. And just to show you how spacious the expander is, yung third row nitong 7-seater natin can be folded flatly to accommodate equipment, grocery, which is good for families and for us na nagtatrabaho sa media. So kung dito sa exterior, sold ka na dito sa expander GLS, let's check out yung inside and I'm sure mas magugustuhan nyo. Now we're here inside the new Expander GLS and as you can see, it has rich appointments of soft touch leather, of gloss black, and brushed aluminum appointments. So yung steering wheel natin is reminiscent of the Evolution series which gives it a very sporty vibe. Naka-textured leather siya with brushed aluminum appointments. Pass through the steering wheel is a mix of digital and analog gauge clusters which for me is very timeless and modern at the same time. Isa pa sa mga nagustuhan natin dito sa Expander GLS is yung 7-inch infotainment system niya that is one of the most responsive and one of the most high-res screens sa market. Very up for the times din yung center console natin kasi digital din yung display ng aircon controls natin which also has levers and buttons for you to adjust easily while driving. Sa side ng gear shift, makikita din natin that this vehicle has an auto hold function which adds to its myriad of safety features. Given my driving position earlier sa harapan, I still have ample space dito sa aking legs and headroom. Makikita nyo naman na kahit 6'2 ako, I still have sufficient space for me to wiggle at mag-enjoy dito sa likod. Additional amenities are yung charging ports dito sa likod ng ating armrest. Meron din siyang aircon control for the middle and third row passengers. Now, let's get on to the driving. So now, we're driving the new Expander GLS and powering the 7-seater is a sprightly 1.5-liter Myvec engine 
which is seen across all variants, pati na din sa previous iteration. Now, most of the vehicles in the market are fitted with 5 to 6 manuals or a CVT. Pero this Expander GLS is fitted with a 4-speed automatic, which for me is the potent formula for having that sprightful performance. Providing the stopping power for the Expander GLS is yung front disc and rear drum brakes that are on ABS and EBD with brake assist that makes it more reliable. So since this is a city car, yung NVH levels niya is kept to a nil. Yung road noise, yung environmental noise, very minimal na lang yung maririnig mo. So it makes the driving around the city more comfortable kahit na nagba-bumper to bumper traffic ka. Since mainly for comfort ng people mover natin, this vehicle has coil springs and torsion beams sa kanyang suspension system. So driving it around Metro Manila during rush hour and under heavy traffic, just as we are experiencing right now, the Expander GLS clocked in at around 9 kilometers per liter, which is not bad considering na ito nga, ganong ka-heavy yung traffic natin. In addition, meron din siyang active stability control, traction control, and hill start assist among others na meron din sa Expander Cross. So very safe siya as a family vehicle. Pero ang pinaka-appealing for me dito sa Expander GLS is yung pricing. Yung 1.2 million niya, you nearly get the same features and technologies that can be found on the Expander Cross which is pegged at 1.3 million. You can check out the specific trim as well as other models at kung ano-ano pa dun sa Mitsubishi Expo that is scheduled on August 10 to 13 sa World Trade Center sa Pasay City. To know more about the motoring industry here and abroad, kindly follow Carmudo Philippines on our social media platforms. Again, this is Ford, and see you at the Mitsubishi Expo.